Hi everyone, if I was to tell you that I can power this TV using just these batteries, you probably wouldn't believe me, right? But it's actually possible. Now these are 18650 batteries, and where did they come from? Well, if you're a subscriber of my channel, you might have seen these cheap power banks from CD Arking, and inside you find one 18650 battery cell. So that's where I've removed them from. I can easily pull them out, use them, put them back in and charge them. So what do we do to get these batteries powering this TV? Well, I made a little device which basically puts the batteries into series. So fully charged, they're 4.2 volts each. If we put them in series, we'll end up with around 16.8 volts. Now this is just PVC tubing that I had laying around. I put some tape here to mark the negative side and some bolts either side to act as the negative and the positive, plus I can tighten them to make sure that I have a tight fit between the batteries, since the length of an 18650 can vary between brands. So all I have to do is take the cap off and then put each battery in with the negative going to the bottom. And then put the end cap on. And that's my new battery. So now I have my voltmeter and we can measure what the voltage of this is. So I connect probe on one end and then on the other. And you can see we're measuring 16.6 volts, which is pretty good. So what do we do now? How do we get this to power the TV? So some of you may have already guessed, but basically we're going to use a DC to AC inverter, which you normally use inside a car. And this is from CDR King, just a cheap 300 watt inverter, um, more than enough to power this TV. So all I have to do is connect this to our in-series battery. So I'll connect the positive on one end, and then I'll connect the negative to the other. We have a small spark. And now if I turn on this inverter, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear on the camera, but these fans started spinning. Now, instead of connecting the TV directly to the inverter, I'm gonna add a watt meter so we can see how much power is being drawn. So the watt meter goes in first, and then the TV will plug into our watt meter. So let's turn on our inverter. Watt meter's coming on. Now it's worth noting that the inverter itself does consume around 5 watts. So whatever the TV consumes, we also have to add 5 watts for the inverter. So let's turn on the TV. And you can see we're now measuring around 10 watts, 20 watts, 25, around 29, still climbing. And we're not running just the TV, we're also running a Chromecast that's connected to it. So you can see that's booting now. And we're consuming around 35 watts. And there you go, the TV, including the Chromecast, is running from the inverter, which is running from our 18650 battery pack. That's pretty cool, right? Now, of course, in reality, this might not be too useful because the battery life is gonna be limited. We're only using four small batteries, so we won't get a huge runtime from this, but it's still a pretty cool experiment, and you could use more batteries if you wanted to get a longer runtime. And of course, it doesn't have to be a TV. We could power something like this fan. So let's turn on the inverter, then connect our fan to the watt meter. And you can see the fan is drawing around 53 watts. Hopefully you can see that on camera. And if I disconnect our battery pack, you can see that it stops immediately. And if I reconnect it, back in motion. So there you go four 18650 battery cells that were taken from power banks that can just be put back in there to recharge. Put them in some PVC just to put them all in series and you've got yourself a nice battery that you can connect an inverter to and then run your AC appliances. There is limited run time but it's a pretty cool little project. If you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.